السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته second part of our video measurement and uncertainty uh, I'm going to show you how to draw maximum and minimum slope lines using Excel maximum slope line the orange one this one and minimum slope line this one the gray one okay let's start before I need to revise with you if I have like line like so the coordinate of the first point we call it x1 and here the coordinate of this point x2 usually I need two points to draw the line most cases I'll take the first point and the last point this is the error bar of the first point and this is the error bar of the second point the coordinate of the first point here this is y1 and here I have y2 Let's take the first point. If I connect the first point, the lower part of the first point, with the upper part of the last point together, this is the steepest line or the steepest slope. So this one is, the, is my maximum. If I connect the upper part of the first point with the lower part of the second point, this slope is it's not steep actually it's the minimum minimum slope now I need that I need to find the coordinate of the maximum slope coordinate of this point and the coordinate of this point the coordinate of this point is x1 not in change y1 I'm going down down value of the uncertainty value which delta v so it will be y1 minus delta y so x1 doesn't change the value of my x value x doesn't change y1 minus the uncertainty now let's go to this one now this one it will be x2 will not change and y2 I'm going up up by how much by the value of the of the uncertainty the value of the error bar so it will be plus delta y so y2 plus the uncertainty so when I draw, I, when, when, I, when I find the maximum slope, the maximum slope, it will be this one. This is the coordinate of maximum slope. X1 doesn't change. I don't have any, any uncertainty in, in X axis or in, in, in the mass. The only variable, it will change Y variable, which is D cube. So here, how can I find the coordinate of Y will equal Y1, Y1 which is this one, minus the uncertainty. This one is the uncertainty. Click Enter. Let's come back here to the coordinate of the second value. Second one, it's y2, so equal y2, plus now, plus the uncertainty, and click Enter. I need to draw the maximum slope here, so I will go to the same graph, right click select data add I need to add what maximum slope x values x values the same what is your y value this one this click enter I can click on this one here I add a trend line. Now I have this one is the maximum slope. Okay. I can show also the legend here. Here, this is the maximum slope. Now I need the minimum slope now. Minimum slope. Minimum slope. Minimum slope, the green line. What is the coordinate of first, first one? First point doesn't change first point. X1 doesn't change. So X1 stay the same. Y1 I'm going up. So it will be Y1 plus the uncertainty bar. Y1 plus the uncertainty. You see it's here. Now let's go to second point, X2. X2 doesn't change. So the coordinate X2. 
Y2, I'm going down. I'm going down the value of the uncertainty. So it will be Y2 minus delta Y. Y2 minus delta Y. So it will be Y2 minus delta Y. You see these values here? I, it's better to write them down so you don't make mistakes. So I'll go here. I have, I'm going to draw this one. Specify this value. Y1 plus the uncertainty. So I'll write equal. Y1, it's D cubed plus plus the uh, uncertainty, sorry, y1, this is one d cube, plus the uncertainty, plus this one, click enter. I will go to the second point. Second point, I have y2, I have here, y2 minus the uncertainty, so equal, y2, this one, minus the uncertainty, this one, click enter. I need now to draw the minimum slope, so I'll go to the same chart, right-click, select data, add, add. I'm going to draw what the minimum slope, x values, my mass doesn't change my mass. Okay. So this one. Y values, I need to draw what minimum slope, so this one, this column. Click enter. Okay. I can right click on it and uh, trend line, add a trend line. Now I have maximum slope and I have minimum slope. The last things I would like to explain for, uh, for you how to find the uncertainty in slope and the uncertainty in y-intercept. Now here, I, I, my y-intercept is zero, so I don't have uncertainty in y-intercept. This one, I can use uh, linest function. So what you're going to do now, you're going to select four cells, any four cells, any, anywhere. You go to the first cell, write equal. Len, yes, the function here appears down, len, linest. Okay, double click on it. Here is written down known y values. So you go to your y values and select them. This is your y value. Select them. Comma, space. Here, known x values. So you go to x values, select them. Comma, space. The other part is if I put zero, it means I'm forcing my graph to pass through the y-intercept zero. If I put one, I don't want it to, to pass through zero. Let's try one. Okay, comma, space, and another one. Close the bracket. Don't click enter. You click choose, control, shift, with enter. You see the first value here, this one. This one is the slope. M, the value of M, you see it here. You see, I'm gonna make it bigger for you. So you can see it better. This value, actually. I'll make it a little bit here. It's the same. So this one is my slope. This one, it's y intercept. This, it will represent the uncertainty in slope. And this value will represent the uncertainty in what? In y intercept. That's it, my student. Um, I, I would like you to repeat these two video, videos many times. Uh, practice well on the drawing. Uh, this really good example for, uh, for your IA uh, lab report. From now on, you will, you will be, uh, they will, you will have grades when you do your, your uh, lab report, uh, inshallah, on uh, how to find the uncertainty, how to draw the uncertainty. So practice well. If you have any question, you can ask me during the class or, inshallah, after the class time from 2 till 3.30, I'm always, I'm always available from Sunday till Wednesday. Good luck.